Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Nets of Hope. I hope that you are doing well today. The Lord has moved in me greatly. And um, I have uh, two videos that I want you to search down when you listen to this video. They're going to be a little lower than this video on my channel by just, um, I think, the fourth and third video down from this video. It's going to be called The Hidden Sanctuary. I want to encourage you to listen to those laying down with a bandana over your eyes or laying back in a recliner chair and putting something over your eyes causes you to be a deep, intent listener. It causes the words to be sowed into your heart with great wisdom. The Lord and the Holy Spirit did not give them to me for nothing. He did not sow those seeds on a video for nothing. He sowed them for you. Now then, um, the Lord is dealing with my heart greatly that many, many Christians are of the world. You're not of the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are of the works of Christ to go to church or to listen to a pastor or to listen to a prophet or a messenger. You are of the works of those things but you're not involved in any kind of ministry yourself. And if he's showing me this, I think that you need to take attention to these words. Now then, I have come to show you how you can start up simple ministries. That is to revive you, encourage you, lift you up, and get you excited in the work of the Lord Jesus Christ and get you started today. Now then, I'm going to read you a scripture. The Lord led me to Philippians 4, excuse me, Philippians 2 and uh, verse 12. It says, so then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now how much more in my absence. So the Lord Jesus Christ has gone from the earth, but now he sees everything. Nothing is hidden. When he was a human, he could only see so far. But now he sees everything, everything you do, Everything you say is all recorded. It's in the book of Revelations. It's the book of your life, the recordings of your life. And then he says, um, so, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without grumbling or dispute, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent children of God, above reproach, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world. Hold fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I will have reason to glory, because I did not run in vain nor toil in vain but even if i am being poured out a drink offering upon the sacrifice and service of your faith i rejoice and share my joy with you all you too i urge you rejoice in the same way and share your joy with me now that was uh philippians 2 verses 12 through 17 if you want to meditate on that I would highly um, encourage you to meditate on the whole chapter of Philippians 2. I have another scripture to read in a moment in Philippians 3. 
Um, but this is what the Lord's showing me to encourage you. We don't have much time left. And I am fisting to do, excuse the mosquitoes out here. They're horrible here in Texas. Um, so as I'm swinging my hand, it's to get a mosquito out of my face and to keep from getting on my face. Anyway, um, we don't have much time. I'm fisting to do a series of videos with the Lord and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. He's been dealing with my heart all morning. He placed me in a dream in the midst of an earthquake that was like the shaking of a volcano and everything around me was falling. He didn't allow it to last too long because it was sickening to my body. I'm sure many of you have heard of vertigo where you get really, really sick and dizzy and you can't even stand up and you're constantly throwing up. That's how I felt for an instant. And this vision, dream, I don't know which, um, I'm supposing it was a, um, a vision because I was woken up at 12.32 a.m. to be given this. And it only lasted, I'm just guessing, five to seven seconds, but that was long enough for me to get a good feel and a good look all around me that everything was falling, everything was being shaken, everything was falling down, including me. Could not stand up with such shaking. It was horrible. I don't know where I was. I don't know if he put me in the, the, uh, the center of the earthquake. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to feel that here at my home. But I was in bed and it was 1232 a.m. when he did this. Now then, back to what this particular video is supposed to be about. You've got to raise up your ministries and you've got to do it now. You don't have much more time left. You don't even have a week. There's been a little boy that's been given information from the Lord it's almost 50 days ago. It'll be 50 days ago on May the 1st. And um, he was given a great warning for that day. The Lord told him that things would take place 50 days from the day that he showed the little boy that information. I'll have to get that video information. I didn't think about writing it down. Uh, but I'm just kind of guessing this little boy is only seven or eight years old. And um, he was shown buildings shaking and falling down to the earth, big buildings. But anyway, so I'm telling you, things are about to happen. And you need to get to work in your local areas, your local marketplace, which is the grocery stores, any and all grocery stores, any and all malls. Um, those are the places that people go to buy food and supplies. That is your most valuable place to go to uh, hand out information on cars uh, in person, if you choose to be that bold. Um, but your ministry can be simple. I'm asking you to handwrite or to get a, um, a flash drive. Many of you are very intelligent. You know how to use flash drives. Many of you are fast typers, very computer savvy. Many of you may be poor and you're thinking, how can I do this? You go to the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. You buy the cheapest paper you can find and you cut it up in pieces to say what you want to say. And I want to encourage you to encourage them to come to this YouTube channel. The Lord is going to have me start up videos that's going to be called the Salvation and Hope Talk Show, and it's about people coming to Christ. There's going to be another one that's called Working Out Your Salvation and Hope, and that's to do your ministries and to be effective in your areas and raise up home churches 
things are about to be changed on a huge drastic level. And he so showed me that this morning that I was so shaken. Guys, I had to lay down and ask him to bring his peace over my body. I was so restless, so full of anxiety over the things he had shown me that uh, my body was just kind of like petrified. It was in awe. It was in shock. Anyway, make front and back flyers, little mini flyers. Or you can take one sheet of paper and do something like this and make it two-sided, say information about the YouTube channel, make it in big print, but you would be able to pass out more if you did it in four pieces, two-sided, advertise this YouTube channel, talk about earthquake, talk about New Mandarin fault line, talk about great change, whatever you decide you want to talk about. It's your ministry. Ask the Lord what he wants you to put on there. But I want to encourage you to invite them to this YouTube channel because they will have access in the midst, in the midst of tragedy until things are so shaken that telephone poles come down and electric services are interrupted. But as soon as they're able to get the services back up, then people will be able to be back up on their cell phones. And Texas is on their own electric grid. So, uh, and they're really faithful about going from city to city and helping each other out as there is any kind of fallout. And some of these other states are as well. I just had some friends in Georgia that had a tornado and it ripped through the town and they didn't have any electricity for days, but other nearby cities came to the rescue and helped them to get their electricity grid back up, connected. So we need to be in prayer heavily as these things began to happen. But the Holy Spirit did not speak to me for nothing and say, earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. The Lord did not show me that the third seal is around the corner and it's fisting to be opened for nothing. The third seal would equal all the things that are about to be poured out with this great earthquake as the new Mandarin fault line burst open. Anyway, so make your individual flyers. Get you some simple snack Ziploc baggies or whatever is affordable at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General store. Put your flyer, if you make it this big, obviously you're going to have to have a bigger bag, but I would suggest not to make it this big, okay? Because um, it's going to cost you more money. You want it to be as feasible as possible. And this can even be your tithe money going towards serving the Lord. And it's, it's money you're giving up to go buy all the paper goods, the pens, the markers, the baggies. It's your tithe money and you're investing it into your home church that you're going to start up. That you're going to get out and get out there and minister to people and give out your phone number boldly. And just have little conversations with them. Be a friend, be a brother, a sister in Christ. Advertise your ministry or the ministry of Nets of Hope on the back of your windshield using waterproof paint. Paint it on there, paint the YouTube channel name, the YouTube channel icon. I'm gonna be painting my windshield um, within days because I park at the marketplace every day and thousands of thousands of people drive by, walk by, push their buggies by my car. So they're gonna see this information. And I'm gonna put on there, earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. And I'm gonna draw their attention just like what God wants me to. And I'm gonna have videos provided that they are going to come to this channel. Now then, so if you would start up that ministry, those of you that have health conditions, that go back and forth to church and you're able to get rides to get to church, you could handwrite yours, the YouTube channel information, 
Um, you could pass out your phone number where you could minister to people on phone, by phone in your own home and start ministering to them. Build up your friends. Build up your brothers and sisters in Christ. And um, pass out this information so that they can begin to just listen. And this would be something other that you could do that's very easily. You could hand it to the pastor, the pastor's wife. Hand it to three, four, five, six, seven um, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. And you just completed your ministry for that day. The next time you go to church, do it again. Give out your phone number. Minister to these people. Love on these people. Pray with these people. And uh, make appointments with them as they text you. You know, make sure they know that you're, you've got things that you're doing. You might have doctor's appointments or whatever. But I am assuring you, things are about to change. And you've got to get your ministries going. Uh, many of you could take a shopping basket and um, just put in some goodies in your basket like you're shopping. Not that you're lying or deceiving, but that you'll be camouflaged from the store uh, leadership. Be the camouflage. Take your coupons with you, those that are bold. And create conversations by saying, Hi, good morning, how are you? What's your thoughts on this weather? Get a conversation started, guys. Find out if they're a Christian and then hand them the coupon. Get them to show them the videos. Get them to see that the Lord is showing the, the sons and daughters of God things that are coming and that they need to wake up. That way they can subscribe to the channel and then they will start the rumors and they will tell other brothers and sisters. And the mighty God of heaven will be at work in you, in them, and it will continue on just like the days in the wilderness when Jesus went out to preach. After he preached, the rumors started up. More and more people came to the places where Jesus was preaching. More and more people came. And rumors began to be flooded to where thousands came and Jesus started defeating them and multiplying the food. So, guys, as I send out these videos that are coming, the fallout of this is horrible from what I've seen this morning. The Lord had me find two videos that he wanted me to watch, and when I watched them, I'm telling you, a heavy restlessness came over me. Uh, a heavy anxiety came over me. I had to lay down. I had to call upon him as the Prince of Peace to come and give me peace and help me. But I'm just asking you, brothers and sisters, please listen to the videos that the Lord had me to make that's called the Hidden Sanctuary. Go lay down or get in your chair, cover your eyes, and listen to every word. And do what the Lord leads you to do to start your ministry. You don't have to get a whole bunch of people. You could start with one person, then go up to three people, minister to them. And then as you feel strong enough and bold enough to minister to more and more and more, keep doing what you're doing. Keep passing out your little flyers at church, your little flyers in an RV park. You could go stick them on a few RV doors early in the morning, late in the evening. Uh, you could start a little walking path, and as you see people out, you know, you're watering their their flyers or whatever, then say good morning, hand them a, a flyer, place it on their windshield cars in a little baggie. Don't forget the baggie because you don't want it to get wet by water sprinkler, dew, or rain. You want your work to be successful. Also, buy you a little thing of Scotch tape at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General. And uh, that way you can tape it on gas pumps. You can tape your little Ziploc baggie to where it won't blow. And you could put it on a bathroom door inside of any restaurant, any grocery store, and start your ministry. You could even put it on popular items in grocery stores. 
on the back side of the item to where when they pick it up and buy it, they will see the coupon on there and check it out. They'll check it out. But don't go too crazy to where you're going to get in trouble or get caught. Um, you, you want as much as possible to invite them to receive the uh, flyer. And, but remember, a good soldier goes out and he does what he needs to do. He passes out the information. He's done his part. God does the watering. I love you, brothers and sisters. Pray for all those flyers that you pass out, you hand out. They're seeds. And they will start the nets of hope growing, which belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's his hidden sanctuary. And let's raise up his church. Let's make him proud. And also, there's one more thing. Research a video. Uh, just type in this name. Howard Pittman. He was a pastor and was a parent of 35 foster children or 32 foster children. He thought he was serving the Lord until uh, his ulcer bursted and he went out. And when he went out unconscious, his heart was still beating. He went into utter darkness and was in shock. And then he had some ribbon scrolls that fell down as light in the midst of darkness. And in the first one said, it is appointed once for man to die and then the judgment. I forget what the second scroll said, but they were ribbons of scrolls of light that he was allowed to read in the darkness. And then somehow, some way, as he began to speak out and talk to the Lord, the Lord had him stand outside the pearly gates. He saw people going in, and he saw uh, thousands were being held back. But anyway, what a powerful story, and it makes you want to think, because this guy was allowed to talk to God one last time before his death, and he didn't want to die. So God allowed him to live, to come back, to transform his life, and to be forgiven, and to start everything all over again. Put yourself in that man's shoes. What would you do today if that were you and you ended up in utter darkness? Would you want to make some changes? Would you want to start up a ministry like this that the Lord is showing you to do? We don't have much time until May the 21st of 2024. I'm not giving you dates. That just happens to be the number of the day that this little boy was given uh, through some visions. And the Lord told him to tell that these things would happen began in 50 days. That is May the 21st. The number five is the number of grace. The number 21 is the finger of God. Seven times seven times seven. It's God's fingerprint, the number 21. I love you guys. Have a good day. Please leave comments. Please share videos. Please, I'm going to be monitoring, but the Lord's going to be monitoring all videos on my channel. He's watching to see, guys, are you going to move? Is there going to be increased views? on the Hidden Sanctuary videos? Is there going to be new subscribers on my channel to prove your work in the fields of the harvest? He's going to be taking down notes and writing your books. Remember the name Howard Pittman and seek out those videos. Seek out what he had experienced and that he was on his way to hell. And he was a pastor. But the Lord told him, you did not make me your Lord. He lived a life glorifying apparently himself and he didn't even realize it. He thought he was doing things for Christ. But the Lord said there'll be many in the last days and when they stand before him and they will say, Lord, Lord, we did this in your name. Lord, Lord, we did that in your name. And he will say, I never knew you. You did not make me 
the Lord and master of your life. I love you, brothers and sisters. Please, please, please take this video very, very, very seriously. Get your flyers going. It's the most easiest ministry on the face of the earth. And even children can help. Get your baggies and your paper, your pens, your flash drives, and get them printed and get them ready because these are part of your rewards as their soul is saved. You also get rewarded for their soul being saved because you're part of the seed and then God does the watering. The angels and the Holy Spirit also do the watering. Get up, church. Get up, church. Get up, church. You're losing time. Get up. May God be with you as you make your final decision. Please don't let death catch you. Unknowing that it's coming. And you be like Howard Pittman and stand in the darkness wondering what's going on. Lord, I, I went to church. I did this. I did that. But you did not make him Lord and master of your life. You did not do the works of Christ. Let that not be you, brothers and sisters. Let it not be you. Please let it not be you. I love you. And I am eager to encourage you and help you. Please help me build this channel. Please make steps of changing. Now go to those videos now and watch them. I've listened to them three times each. And I already finished my fourth time each. And it's amazing things that were said that I didn't even recognize that were said because the Holy Spirit was upon me. I love you. But I pray that you listen. Jesus name. Pray you listen.